Hello, my name is Michael Bass and I'm a product engineer with Clutch Industries. Today I'll be talking to you about technical bulletin number 13. This technical bulletin is related to Nissan patrols and it's basically to do with the vacuum power assist. This application has a tendency to experience non-release and in the worst case scenario difficulty in selecting gears. If this is the case, there are three points that I'd like to draw your attention to that could solve this issue. The first one being bleeding of the hydraulic line, the second one being vacuum booster adjustment and the third one being pivot ball and throw arm wear inspection. Going to the first point, bleeding of the system, some installers have found that removing the spiral or coil uh, hydraulic line with an official Nissan flexible hose, uh, as per the part number that you can see on the screen now, will actually solve the, uh, any, uh, the issue of having air in the system. And obviously once you've installed this line, continue with your usual bleeding procedure. The second point that may solve this problem is adjustment of the vacuum booster. Now the vacuum booster actually has a diaphragm in it and this has a tendency to wear. If the vacuum booster diaphragm needs replacing, please order the number that you can see on the screen now from Nissan. The next procedure is to correctly adjust the vacuum booster. The vacuum booster can be adjusted at two places. The first being at the push rod end, as you can see on figure one here, and the second being between the master cylinder and the vacuum booster. Now, it's important to get this adjustment right. So, as you can see from the image, you can get a flat edge and lay it over the adapter. The distance from the flat edge to the push rod must be between 1.3 mil and 1.5 millimeters. The second adjustment is between the master cylinder and the end of the push rod via a threaded nut as you can see here on figure two. And the third point which may solve this uh, problem of non-release or inability to select gear is the condition of the pivot ball and the throw out arm. Now because these vehicles are used in quite heavy conditions, uh, quite a lot of grime can cover telltale signs of wear, so it's important to take out the throw arm and carefully inspect and clean the uh, parts to see if wear is present. If wear is present, it's important to replace these components. If you cover off these three points, you should not encounter any further problems with non-release or difficult gear selection. For any further technical information related to this technical bulletin, please contact Clutch Industries on 1300 369 787.